Yeah, hello, welcome to Have A Go, and I'm Alan. Today we're going to start um, working on this. Low hanging fruit first. Ah, I'll just create the bandsaw and zip this, the, the gates off. Right. Now to try and drive this out, which I'm not expecting to be fun. How to do this? Oh, it's moving. came out like quite nice. Next tip I believe is going to be the belt sander. Smooth this, do the sides to make them look nicer and we're going on this. Need to gonna belt sand this first then I'll sand the bottom with the glass and the sandpaper and I'll have to scrape it in. Also need to do similar on this, which will be trickier because it's got this here. But first things first, belt sander time. It's amazing how much the workpiece heats up just from doing that. Yeah, that's the roughing done. And this was with the shop vac, trying to keep things tidy. The combination of the big sander and the little detail sander works well together. The big sander has the grunt to take down the surfaces fast, while the little sander is good for getting into the crevices and doing the fine details. Alright, so this is what we've got to work with. I think I'll probably have to sand this down some more because ideally I should have sanded the surface here and all the way down here. From experience, if I try and scrape it in I'll be all day about it. So I'll probably have to go back to the sander I think. Overall, I'm, I'm very happy with how it came out, especially the transitions there. Yes, they're rough, but it still came out quite nice. I, so I sanded the top of this yeah, around here, mostly so that it, it's nice in my hands and I don't have jaggy bits when I pick it up and work with it. Alright, flat sanding time. At the moment, there's a bunch of um, straight sanding marks from the belt sander. I'll know that I'm done with this when all the straight marks, uh, sanding marks, are covered up. I'm going to be a while at this, so I'll come back to you later. I'm right, just going to start filing this down a bit. 
hopefully make the sanding a bit less horrible. Put those V um, 45 degree notches I was telling you about in that other video. Normally I'd cheat and use the bandsaw, but this is too long. do it too deep just yet because I have a suspicion that I'll have to do them again anyway. This side will have the gib so this wall isn't too crucial. This side however will be a bearing surface. Right I've got the bottom of this yeah flat enough to where I'm happy with it. So now just need to mount these um, ways on it. Gonna put 12 um, bolts in to hold this and two rows of six each. Alright, for the depth of it, um, I need 12.7 mil on this side, so there-ish. Okay, mine is actually a wee bit wider than it's supposed to be by the look of it. Either that or the shrinkage wasn't as big as I thought it would be. I've been checking how things are going to clear out with this scrap bit of coal roll I've got and this should be about right. I'm trying to get it so that these are relatively in the centre of the pads that I've scraped in. sucker down. I'm going to need a little bit of stuff here to make up for the um, half circle in here. I need to keep part around here relatively free. Useful things these clamps. Right on. Just do a quick six mil hole through this. Ah, cool. Went all the way through. Wasn't a, well necessary, but it'll make tapping easier. Get out the ruler again. This one's a blind hole, so I'm not going to do any cutting fluid. Tap out the stuff inside it.
Now that I've got these two in, I can batch out the other ten. Stuff smells so bad. If you can hear the fan, sorry about that, but I need something to try and get rid of the smell. I've jacked it up a bit so that when the tap comes through the bottom, it doesn't crack into the vice jaws. Make a machine shop, they said. It would be fun, they said. I didn't mention the sheer tedium of this stuff. I can't use any cutting fluid on these front ones because they're blind holes and I don't want them clogging up with chips that won't tap out. Don't think I'm not tempted to just put this in the cordless drill because I am. I haven't broken a tap yet and I don't want to start. Oh, there must have a piece nearby. Mm, doing this for the lathe ways wasn't as bad because that was just a single shot tap, not a triple set like this. Mm, final tap. Tap out those blind holes. Twelve holes with uh, three taps to run through each one. That's about 36 of that I'm doing. I must be mad. One more. This is just from today's work, doing the holes in the uh, ram slide. I'm not putting all of them in, in because I still, yeah, I still have work to do that involves taking this off. I think. Now to show you where that's going to go. When the shape is running, this will be going. Well, that's enough for today. <laughs> 